Can you guys do me a favor? Hey internet, I'm in the Poconos just for a couple hours. I'm gonna try and get a couple things done. They have the dumpster here today, so we're gonna try and get rid of some bulk trash. And I think I'm just gonna vacuum and maybe try and get some of the bigger stuff out of here. My goal is that once the basement bathroom is totally renovated, that the house will be ready to put on the market for rent. So I'm gonna try and do that now. I'm not sure when the bathroom's gonna be done yet because I'm still waiting to hear back from the contractor, but in, in case it's soon, I would like to, I'm, I'm gonna try and, and really make a push to get this ready in the next couple months. What I'm really curious about though right now, is the last time we were up here, someone had just left a kayak at our dock um, I'm not sure why it's it's not ours and I, I don't I don't know if they just like stole it and dumped it here or what but about to go see if it's still here. I know we're approaching the the muddy season in the Poconos as we call it but there's still some snow on the ground and it's cold it's always like 10 degrees colder here than it is in Philadelphia so it's, it's really beautiful up here today actually there's no clouds beautiful sun through the trees and uh, a little bit of snow left on the ground. So the kayak is still here. It came loose from the dock though, and now it's like beached weird. I don't know how I'm gonna get it. I should have taken it out last time I was here. This is all wet. I have no clue how I'm gonna get that. So I actually have chest waders. I think they're here but I'm not sure. If I can put those on and maybe wade out to it a little bit, I think that would work. I'm also kind of worried that they're dry rotted though. I do at this point. I'm gonna get rid of the bulk trash first because I have limited time to use the dumpster. Then I think I'm gonna try and put my hip boots on and go in after that thing. It is 33 degrees here. I really, really hope these boots aren't leaky. Oh, there are these kids out on the on the lake in their in their boats and they're, they're, they're in like kayaks and canoes. I wonder if they can like fish it out for me. I'm gonna ask them. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? like turn it turn it toward me and then like you can push it at me with your paddle and I'll be able to pull it out my heroes thank you so much <laughs> Good kids, good kids, those kids. All right, so the new problem is I got up here and I used one of those keypad things to get in and I forgot to bring the backup key and the battery in the keypad is dead. So uh, I'm either gonna have to just do stuff outside here or uh, gonna have to call a locksmith. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Call the locksmith. He can't be here for a while. I think he said he was like 45 minutes away from some other job, which is probably an hour away from here. And it's, it's gonna be a while before he gets here. So what I can do is I have got, I've got two pallets that I need to throw away. I will get those in the car, take those to the dumpster, come back, and then maybe see if I can figure out another way to get in. I was just gonna put the whole pallet in here, but it's really heavy and it's like covered in snow. And I thought I could just like slide the snow off and it's like not coming off. The nice thing is like it's been outside and it's been getting so wet that it's just kind of falling apart. So not as heavy. Maybe I could just move the pieces in here, get rid of them. The car isn't even big enough. I'm not gonna be able to close the lift gate. All right, car is loaded. 
I got the door sort of closed, but not all the way closed. It's probably gonna pop back open again. I think the hardest part is gonna be getting out of my driveway actually, because it's an uphill. I'm hoping that if we get past that, that it'll be smooth sailing, because I think it's pretty flat the rest of the way or downhill. So let's give it a try. We'll see what happens. Made it up the hill, door's still closed. Here we go. I'm going about 10 miles an hour. Car is not happy with me. It's just, is beeping like crazy. Like close the door, you idiot. Almost there. Nothing to it. That nice guy helped me out. I go get my gate pass for the year. And then I guess I just wait for the, just wait for the guy, wait for the locksmith. Not really how I plan to spend my day, but it happens. All right, it's like 3.15. It's been well over an hour since I called the locksmith. I'm not really sure when he's coming. He wouldn't give me any kind of estimate, so I have no clue. I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out some other way in. Thank God, I just I just got off the phone with the locksmith. He's about to try and remove a doorknob with sticks. I don't know how well that would have turned out. Uh, the locksmith is on his way now. He said he'd be here in like 45 minutes. I was hoping we could sit on the dock and have a little chit chat, but the guy called me again and said he's cash only and I have none, so we gotta go to an ATM. Got my cash, but more importantly, Envo beanie. All right, let's go back to the house. Back at the house now. This whole this whole being locked out thing really uh, threw a wrench in my plans today. I was gonna come here, get rid of the pallet right away, and then vacuum, get rid of another couple bags of trash, and then just load up the car. And then I was just gonna hang out and sit in the hot tub for, I don't know, half an hour or something. Get a shower in the really nice shower in this house and then just head home. It was gonna be a pretty, like a productive, but also a, a restorative day. And that just did not happen. But like I usually do, we're gonna pivot because I originally had an idea for a separate video where I was gonna talk about somewhere between like a bucket list for this year and a new year's resolution. <laughs> These kids are still out. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna go somewhere scenic where I can talk about this. So I was gonna do this video, like a totally separate video, about my 2024 bucket list. Then I realized that no one actually cares about my 2024 bucket list. A lot of it was just things like, I wanna make homegrown pickles. Yeah, like, of course, yeah, like, what am I gonna say about that? I wanna make homegrown pickles because they're delicious. I wanna go zip lining up here because it was fun. What I thought was more interesting was a few of the items on the bucket list that I was not excited about. One of the items, and just stay with me for a second, one of the items was that I wanna have a party at the new house in Philadelphia. Now, you may be saying, that's ridiculous, that sounds like fun. And it would be, except I don't think I've ever thrown a party. I have had people over sort of in a party-ish thing, but it, it's it's been extremely stressful and I'm never happy with the way the house looks and I just kind of err on the side of never having people over because I've never had a space as an adult that I've been truly happy with. And what this comes from is just being extremely disorganized, unable to keep up with house chores, never know where anything is, couldn't remember to bring a spare key up here. I've, I've gotten away with it for a couple years now, not bringing a spare key, it's finally caught up with me. And it's just that my, my brain is just really scattered. The weird thing, what I think is interesting is that part of me actually doesn't want to work on it because that has become such a part of who I am that it almost feels like I'm, I'm losing a little part of myself if I become more organized. Similar thing, I screwed up my knee pretty badly a couple years ago. I was trying to ride one of those one wheel things and I locked my knees because the person I was riding with told me to do that and I just fell over and hit the ground like a giant sequoia and like twisted on my knee as I was going down. Not good. It was an excruciating pain for a couple weeks and it still doesn't feel right it still feels like if I jump or if I am doing squats or something like that it still feels like my knee is detached from itself it's not right what I wanted to do this year was get that looked at you're out what's wrong with it and maybe you know if, if it's a torn ACL get surgery but that's another thing that's scary to me not because I'm afraid of surgery or needles or anything like that but because I think just part of who I am was not you know being super attentive to 
my health. I kind of always had the sense that it would like make me cooler to not really care about my health, not go to the doctor. Uh, I don't need that, I'm fine. But as I've gotten older, I realize it's not, and it's, it's a lot cooler to care about your health and to want to live a long time so you can experience all the amazing things this world has to offer. But that would require losing a part of myself, and that's scary. There are these two things on my bucket list, getting my knee looked at and having a party that require what I initially thought was going to be this crazy transformation, being a different person. Person. And when people around me have told me you should clean up, you should get your act together, you should go to the doctor and stuff, I, I always kind of took it as like, oh, they don't like me the way I am. Screw them. I'm not going to do that. But that's not really true. I think that I have to tell myself that people really do just want the best for me. And I want the best for myself too. And most importantly, what, I, what I've found in thinking about this over the last couple of weeks is I'm not going to be a different person if I go to the doctor or if I clean up my house. I'm gonna be the same me. I think that our identities over our lives are just kind of like skin. As you grow and develop, the parts that are no longer benefiting you kind of just die and, and fall off of you. That's what I think. I think I need to let go of those parts of me because even if those go, who I really am fundamentally isn't gonna change. That, that's something that I'm gonna probably keep revisiting this year as I try to be more of an adult. <laughs> My guy should be here in like 15 minutes or so. I'm probably just gonna sit in the car. It's getting kind of cold. Yeah, it's a lot warmer in here. Just gonna kind of like unplug my brain for 15 minutes while I wait for this guy. Lox has just called me. He's almost here. Hopefully we get into the house. We're in. Step one, 